Hi everyone, it's Joel here again and what we're doing is learning how to 3D print from Minecraft. Uh, this is very, very exciting and actually not too hard to do now that the structure block is now included in Minecraft. Um, as you can see here, I'm using Minecraft Education Edition, uh, but that doesn't matter. It will work on the normal Minecraft app just as well. Now, this tutorial is not about how to make something in Minecraft. It's purely how to have a building, export it as a 3D file, and then uh, print it using your own printer software. So let's go ahead and press play. And I've got this uh, world already worked out, 3D print creative. We'll put that in there. Okay, so I actually think it's better when you're doing this with your students to have a, a flat world. Um, it's it, it, it just makes things a lot easier. You don't have to clear space. You don't have to waste time. And uh, here you see I've, I've actually made two buildings. We're going to look at this one first over here. And it's just a very simple building with a door and some windows. Let's go in and have a look. There we go. Simple building with a floor, with a ceiling, um, bricks, glass panes you know, that sort of thing. Um, not complicated. I don't have furniture or anything like that in it. Um, I don't really know how that would print in Minecraft, um, but I'm just looking to print out this house that I've made, okay? Now, you can see right now that what I'm holding is a structure block, and I'm gonna get rid of it and show you that actually the structure block is not included in Minecraft in the, uh, in the uh, inventory at all. Uh, in any edition. You need to actually give it to yourself using a command line. Okay, so let's do that. I'll press the backslash and write give p at p and structure block. Like that. And then now I've got a structure block. And what you need to do is you need to put it one level below what you're doing. One level below and so it's just touching. So like here, for example, I'm going to clear a space and put it in. Then you just right click it and all you need to do is say what the size of your building is. So, and you've got over here a little axis that gives you an idea. The Y axis is green, the Z axis uh, in this case is blue and the X is, uh, is, is red. So I'm just going to, I've sort of done a rough count, but I think it's about 777. So I'm going to write 7, 7 and 7 and press enter and see what that does and actually it doesn't do anything. Now that's okay, that does happen sometimes, it probably means that I'm on the negative side of the position axis. Basically what that means is, I'm going to cancel that, get rid of that, and I've got one already prepared on another corner. So if it doesn't work on one corner, just try it on another one and it will probably work. Let's try this again, 7 for the X, 7 for the Y, 7 for the Z, and let's press enter and see how that works. Okay, so interesting. Um, obviously, uh, it looks like according to the axis over here, the Z needs to be longer, and I think the Y needs to be longer. My roof was a bit bigger than that. So let's go to Z and change that to say 9, and let's change the Y to 9. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, still not perfect though, it looks like the X needs to be Increase, let's make that 9 as well. Alright, that's the whole building. Now, unfortunately, what I have got is a whole lot of the grass area as well. Now, that might be something that you want, I don't know. Um, if you're printing this, it will just print it in whatever colour your filament is. Mine happens to be white. Um, so, what it won't do is it won't print out any of these patterns, the bricks and the wood and the glass and all that sort of thing, the grass. Uh, it won't print any of that. It'll just print like just a, just a flat surface. Um, and you can see that I've got the structure block there, but again, that doesn't matter because it would just print it as white. So if that's something that you want, then yeah, go ahead and do that. But it's not, I don't want this grass bit here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna show you, just quickly have a look at how this house was built. So I had actually taken out the um, the lower level and replaced it here with some stone, and that was my um, that was my floor. So what I did is I redid the house. See, that was my first attempt. Now here's my second attempt. 
second attempt. And it's slightly different in that as we go up the stairs now, you can see we've got stairs, we've got the floor and the floor is actually on the first level. Okay, so the floor is actually on this level here, so that when we print it out, we're printing out everything from the grass up to the top, uh, including the stairs if you want. Okay, so that's just made it a lot easier to print and I've got the floor, otherwise I wouldn't have the floor. Um, let's just go over here and right click this that I've already set up and let's do those figures again. Let's do 999 and see if that gives me everything I need to and press enter. Okay, let me see. Everything looks good. That is the size of the roof. And look, there's the floor. So the floor will print. In fact, also the stairs will print as well. Lovely. Okay, so that's great. That's the file that I want and I'm going to export that. So I've given it a name, house, over here. You can give it whatever you want. I'm going to press the 3D export button and then go down here to export. Just print, click it there. Try clicking a couple of times to get it working. Let's try that again. Export. There we go. And I'm just saving it here to my desktop. Done. Okay. So now that's done, you can open it up into any 3D program. Um, a 3D program I use is called 3D Builder. I'm just going to open it up in 3D Builder now. There's 3D Builder. And I'll press open load object and then there's house and then there we go looks nice now something you'll notice I can see the I can see everything the way it's going to be I've got the the, uh, the windows there I've got the windows there that looks good all the windows look good the everything looks nice and you're thinking oh well actually it is going to print out in 3d it's it's not it's not it's uh, it's not going to print out all these designs and everything um, I'm going to import that model uh, and it says one or more objects are in, invalidly defined. That's what my 3D program is, is telling me. Let's repair it and see what happens. It's repairing it. Ah, look at that. I think basically what it's done here is it's assumed that those little thin bits were mistakes. Um, so I actually don't want that repair. I don't think that looks very good. Um, so I can undo that. But before I do, let's just point out, let's, if I did print it with those windows and things like that, what would we get? We would get something that would be in, we would get a, a plastic thing here. You wouldn't be able to see through it. It's not going to be transparent. So possibly the best thing to do is not to have those glass panes there if you're printing it. Um, I did like having the little bit of um, a door here though. So I think I will keep that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that or I'm just going to reopen it, I guess. I'll just go to open again. I'll discard that scene and open it again. And this time, I'm going to import it. And it's going to ask me to repair. I'm not going to repair it. No. But what I will do is I'll uh, take these sections here and maybe delete them. Um, and I've still got the... So I've basically deleted the glass, which was one of the textures here, as you can see. Um, but I've kept the door, which is what I wanted, okay? And then it's just a matter of sending that to your printer. I like to save it as an STL, uh, but you don't have to. It just depends on how your printer prints. And that's it. So that's how you export a building in Minecraft using the structure block and then sending it to a 3D program ready to print. Thank you very much for listening.